Welcome to our tour of Primo. This tutorial will give you an overview of the library portal Primo. Primo is a library catalog where you can look not only for books, but also for journal articles and many other materials. Let us look at an example to see how Primo works. When two or more search terms are used with a no boolean operator in between, the search engine will return results that contain all terms. The search engine supports searches with the operators AND, OR, and NOT. Be sure to enter operators in capital letters. Now select the scope for your search. Let's begin with the FU catalog scope. This is where you should look for books and such materials as maps or DVDs within the Freie Universität Berlin Library Holdings and for ebooks licensed for Freie Universität Berlin. The FU catalog scope also includes records for printed journals and for e-journals. Both subscription and free journals are covered. Note, however, that the individual articles published in those journals are not listed in the catalog. Your search produced 312 hits. Primo prompts you to sign in. Signing in has several advantages. You can immediately request books and you get to see information on whether you can take a book out and how long you will be allowed to keep it. Also, you can add titles to your favorites so that you can get back to them in a future session. Freie Universität students sign in using their FU account credentials. Other users need a Freie Universität library card. You can obtain a library card free of cost at the circulation desks of all Freie Universität libraries. The search results are sorted by relevance. Hits that contain your search terms Arab Spring or Arabischer Frühling will be placed towards the top of the list if those search terms are contained very often or if they appear close to each other. You can change the sorting so that, for example, the most recent literature is presented first. Use the filter functionality on the right side to refine results according to formal or to content criteria. Most filter menus are hidden by default, so you have to click on the Expand Chevron. Select filter values by clicking on them, or exclude them by clicking on the Exclude symbol at the end of each line. Combinations of filters are possible. For example, you can limit results to books, in the University Library, and more specifically, German language books only. Click on Apply Filter in order to activate your filter options. Active filters are displayed at the top of the filter panel. You can easily remove or add filters, or make filters persistent, throughout the current session. After you load more results, the Page Navigator allows you to move up and down the list. The book about Egyptian blogs might be interesting. Click on the title or the cover thumbnail and you will see all information about the publication on a new panel. You can either scroll up and down or navigate by clicking on Details, Locations and Links. In the Locations section, you can see where the book has its place in the library whether it is out on loan and when it is due to be returned or whether it is available. For some libraries there is a link to a floor plan that shows you how to find the book. If the book you want to use is in open stacks or in an open shelf area, you can retrieve it yourself. In some cases you can take it out on loan. Books in closed stacks have to be requested. When you request a book it will be delivered to a circulation desk where you can then pick it up. In the present case, the University Library item is in the closed stacks, so you have to request it. You can choose at which Freie Universität Library you want to pick up the requested item. Please consider that delivery can take one or two opening days if you request transportation from one library to another one. Once the item is ready for you to pick it up, you will receive an email notification including information on how long the item will be kept on hold for you. Remember that request details will be displayed only if you have signed in, and they will be displayed only for books that can be requested. So if no request details are displayed, 
That means that you have to go to the shelf and retrieve the book yourself. Here is where you click to look into your account. You can monitor your loans, your requests, including information on loan periods, and your fees. Go to the Loans panel to extend loan periods. Extensions are not possible if an item has been requested by another user or if other restrictions apply. When you are looking for articles, book chapters, or e-resources of all kinds, then you should search the Articles Plus scope. Articles Plus is a mega-index of more than a billion datasets that are supplied by a large number of external providers. Among those providers are publishers, such as Springer, De Gruyter, and Wiley, but data from databases, such as Web of Science, Viso, or MLA, also go into Articles Plus. By default, e-resources appear in the result list only if full texts are available for Freie Universität. The result list can be enormous if your query is not very specific. If your search yields too many results, you should add terms to your query or choose more relevant terms. To modify the order in which journal articles are ranked in the Articles Plus scope, you can select the disciplines most relevant for you in your personal Primo settings. You can limit results to articles from peer-reviewed journals. In peer review, articles are reviewed by experts from the same discipline before they are admitted to publication. You can also limit results to recent literature. Select a time range. Multiple sources available indicates that the same article is available through Primo from more than one provider. Click on that link and compare the records supplied by those providers. For instance, one record may contain an abstract while another does not. For electronic resources, the Details section contains one or more links that will take you to the full texts. Electronic resources provided by Freie Universität Berlin are accessible at the Freie Universität libraries, and in the case of most resources, Freie Universität members have remote access as well. For information on how to access resources from outside the university network, consult the tutorial on VPN client and proxy configuration. Primo allows you to save items that you want to come back to as favorites. In order to set favorites, click on the pin icon. You can monitor your favorites in your Primo account. Organize your favorites. by applying labels to them. Export options from Primo include printout, email text, clipboard copy of citation, in MLA, Chicago, Harvard, or citation manager format. Permalinks allow you to reliably return to specific datasets. Using Primo, you can search a large quantity of all existing literature. However, sources relevant for your project may not yet be included in the mega-index. Databases help you discover more sources, specialized content, pictures, facts, etc. Therefore, it is important to use databases in thorough literature search. Information on databases licensed for Freie Universität Berlin is maintained on the DBIS platform. You can look for databases directly in DBIS or use the database's scope in Primo. The link to the DBIS platform is included on the Other Search Tools page. You have now surveyed Primo's main functionalities. More information is available on the Primo Help pages. And that does it for this tour. We hope you have found it useful.